Hey all. Uh, so I'm doing one more update on the circumcision. Uh, I haven't done one for ages because nothing's changed and it's all getting better. Uh, but I thought I'd do one um, because I realized there were actually a couple of things I didn't cover. Um, or rather, I just thought it was time. So uh, I had sex. So um, sex is not a huge part of my life anymore. I'm getting older and I'm fat and just, you know, it's just not. And uh, my wife and I love each other very much. It's just, you know, it's just where you get as you get older. Well, some people, I do. Anyway, we had sex. Um, it sucked. Okay, it was... It wasn't, it, it's not that there was nothing different about it. It was still great and it was intimate and close. But I just got no sensation left. It was the weirdest thing. I didn't climax, couldn't do. Um, sorry, so direct, but you know, there's no other way to talk about it. Um, and I was a little worried about it beforehand, to be honest with you, because I thought like, you know, I kind of figured it was going to be like that. Um, but there was just like no feeling. No feeling at all. I mean, you know, very, very minor. Um, so I don't know, maybe it's just something I have to, we have to just, you know, do regularly and it will come back. But, um, you know, I'd mentioned before that I'd masturbated and it was not very good. It's pretty bad, you know. Um, but um, now it's all just so desensitized, you know, because, you know, the gland is touching cloth, which also means. I think when you're about to shit yourself, but because it's touching cloth, it's just constantly desensitized. And now I'm at the point where during sex, I'm like, you know, it was still enjoyable. Mentally, it was still enjoyable. Physically, it feels dead. So I want you to know that. I think it's important. You know, um, I, I read online that there are like, um, what's the word for it? Sheaths, like a thing you can put uh, I think it's an Australian company, but but it's basically you put like a sock. It's like a sock that you put around your penis and you wear that every day and it will bring the sensitivity back, you know. Um, but God, what maintenance. Who wants to put that thing on every day, you know? Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. Not good. Not good. I mean, you know, I, I'm fortunate in that I don't have a high sex drive and it's, you know, it's not depressing me. But if, you, if you're if you sexually active, you know, and you go through this, just forewarning, you know. I and mean, here's the thing. The great things like staying power. I mean, yeah, that's true. I, I could have gone for 10 hours, you know, because I was just feeling nothing. I was feeling absolutely nothing. Um, my wife said it felt bigger. You know, which there wasn't much to go on, but <laughs> but um, I, I I'd felt that too as well before. I thought like it feels like it's less constricted because there's no foreskin constricting it. She felt said it felt bigger, and she said it was very tight, and I that blew my mind because I felt nothing, I felt nothing. You know, yeah, yeah. So that really sucks. Uh, the other thing is I've completely lost track of where we are. I'll put it in the title of the video to make clear. But wherever we're at now, I feel like I should have fully healed up. So what would it be, three months, four months? Um, and it is totally healed and I can do whatever I want. But it's uncomfortable. It's still uncomfortable. It just, it's, when you have a foreskin, you kind of pull your pants up, you zip up, and you don't think about it again. Very rarely is there anything uncomfortable with it because it's got such protection. Now... There are certain pants I can't wear. There are certain there's certain underwear I can't wear, and I feel fully healed. I just there's certain because the frenulum is exposed that 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 strip of skin, that flap of skin that connects the foreskin to the glands, because that's exposed. If there's anything rubbing or touching that, it doesn't hurt. It just feels really uncomfortable. It's just like ah, I've got to adjust, you know. So I'm out walking the dogs, and I'm wearing the wrong pants. That's an uncomfortable walk. I have to, you know, put my hand down my pants and adjust all the time. And now I'm wondering if that's why I've always seen men adjust in their unit, because I never used to need to. I never used to need to adjust anything. Sometimes the balls. But in general, it's just like once it's in, it's good to go, you know. That's not the case anymore. Anyway, so that's the update. I'm going to make it quick. But I thought I should put it up there because I think it's important. <laughs> it's, it's obviously going to be important for people to know that in my case sexual enjoyment was drastically reduced. I was watching another uh, YouTube video 
uh, months ago, uh, while I was going through this, a guy, I think I mentioned it, a guy who had gone through an experience and his report was that his sex was better. He said that it was felt great, you know, but he was younger and I kind of felt like maybe he was enjoying the staying power because like I said, it must feel great to be able to go that long, you know, hard and fast and whatever you want, you can perform it. Whatever your partner wants, you can perform it, you know. Uh, the problem is I couldn't get what I wanted out of it. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. So there's his opinion of it, which is better, and here's my opinion, which is that it's way worse, like 90% worse. Uh, it feels a little bit dead. Okay, uh, masturbating still works. So it's just not very good. It's not a very enjoyable experience. It's a, just a release. All right, that's the update. Um, maybe I won't have to do any more of these brutal things talking about my penis anymore because it's weird for me. I'm English. It's uncomfortable. You know, we're kinky, not open. All right, have a good day, Nuggets. Bye.